I am super glad to be done with work because my eyes are having problems focusing. <sighs> anyway, I've been feeling a little bit dizzy and faint today, even though I had food. And I think it's because my eyes are having trouble focusing on the screens because of the program we're using. And the lighting is bad, it's really cloudy today, it's just all around not good. Then of course if I'm like handwriting something and, and working on the computer at the same time, then it's very difficult to focus and move my eyes back and forth. I always feel better as soon as I leave the building. I don't know if that's like just a work thing or what. So, Saturday, <laughs> I both, I had an idea and then my friend had an idea for my story and we kind of mashed them up and now I, we have like the greatest idea of all times for my story and it's her fault and I will always blame her for it. <laughs> No traffic right now, it's amazing. You gonna go somewhere, honey? Let's go go somewhere. That's what it is. The idea for my new story is of course it's got something to do to do with Dora being kidnapped. And I I'm, <laughs> I'm even more excited to get to it now because I get to write Bella having a kid. And this time, instead of having a girl, she's gonna have a boy, and I'm very excited for that. So when Dora gets kidnapped, Rodolphus is gonna be annoyed because his precious heir is going to be raised for a couple of years with Dora in the house. And of course, that's gonna cause other dramas. <laughs> I'm sure if you know anything about our stories, you probably have some idea of what's coming up and the drama that will ensue. In important real life news, I actually talked to my manager today about getting time off to actually go to, to England in April. And... Uh, she doesn't know if I'm going to be able, she doesn't know how much time I'm going to be able to get off because I only have enough, I will only have enough pay time off for two days by the time April gets here. So she said she was going to have to talk to HR, so she made a note so she could talk to HR. So that's what I'm waiting on right now. But at least I talked to her and said I would like to go for two weeks. I think the tickets will cost less if I go for two weeks. But I'm glad I talked to her. Now I just need to, and I, I honestly I still haven't got my passport yet. Or even like started doing the things. I need to talk to mom about it and see if she'll take me to get pictures. I don't want to waltz into a DMV or like a triple A or anything by myself and be like, hey, get passport pictures, okay? I need my mom so I can adult. <laughs> but anyway, things are in place and I feel considerably better about everything because I also mentioned like going to, ha to Oregon to see for blah, I can't even English. I mentioned going to Oregon when my sister has her baby. So hopefully, that'll work out because she I was like well we can't predict babies so I have no idea when we're gonna be do going there and she was like yeah I know right <laughs> so hopefully that's okay I don't think it'll be a problem to get the weekend off or like a Friday or whatever well oh crap I did the thing <laughs> I don't know why I have to be a disaster I made a 
right turn in front of oncoming traffic because I can with my life. It's a miracle I have not wrecked this car yet or totaled it or smashed somebody. It's just a miracle. I love that. Love that for you. Traffic is moving down. What am I on? Thunderbird? No, I'm not on Thunderbird. I'm on 35th. Bro, I'm doing like 55 and people are passing me. It's great. Oh, goodness. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Hi, bird. A bird just flew in front of my windshield. <laughs> my manager said she was going to get back to me as soon as she could. Hope I'm hoping for the best. I don't understand things. I really hope Mama helped me get the passport stuff started, but I don't know if I need tickets before I get, before I apply for my passport, because it was saying something about, oh, you need trip dates and you need, like, um, ticket confirmations and stuff like that. Well, I don't have that. But I have Cursed Child ticket per play purchase blargs, and I have concert tickets purchased. I'm gonna go see an American band in England. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be hilarious. I cannot wait. It'll be the second time I've seen them in concert and I have not seen them since 2012. <laughs> I don't even know their newest EP. I meant to look it up and then I listened to some songs and I don't even know what album they were from. Cause I think I'm missing like two albums of theirs because I thought I was going to get all of the music, all of the new music. I usually get my new music on Black Fridays, but we went to Barnes and Noble and Barnes and Noble didn't have any music. So I don't know if they ever had music, but I swear they did. So I don't know what happened about that. So anyway, no, I didn't get all the up-to-date albums, so I'm still behind the times when it comes to, like, Red and TFK and, like, the bands I usually keep up with at bookstores. I need to look at my bank account. I need to look at my Southwest points and figure out what gift cards I can redeem points for so that I can lessen my expenses when I'm overseas because I am pretty sure... Can I go or is it gonna go straight? What's going on there? Eh? Okay. We're just gonna do this. Because I know I can get McDonald's gift cards and... Well, I'm not sure if I can get McDonald's, but I know I can get Starbucks. And that's like the number one important thing because I know there's Starbucks at the studio tour. Um, I want to get Starbucks at the studio tour and unlike last time, not dump it on the ground in front of the bus back to King's Cross. <laughs> it was an experience! Because last time, I didn't get Starbucks until we were finished with the studio tour. Then I got the, the I got a chai, and I brought it outside, and I was sipping it. And I literally just, it fell out of my hand and split open, like right off the curb. And I was like, oops. But it all spilled, so then I had to pick it up and go throw it in the trash. And it was very tragic. And I was like, okay, it was my like seven pound chai, like I'm not getting another one, that's ridiculous. It was very sad. I am all of the sadness. I am turning right here. I am home. I feel like there's so much more to talk about, but maybe tomorrow. Bye.